Hi YouTube, this is uh, Fuzzy Water. Just want to show you my uh, setup uh, for my first test. Uh, zoom in on a couple of things. I've got a battery charger and a battery there that's connected. Sorry. To a 30 amp fuse over to the generator and a bubbler. Get this tripod steady. The bubbler is connected to a just a canister of water. Let me spend a few seconds explaining the generator. The generator is a uh, design from John Aarons at uh, Hydrogen Tap. So what you have here is, he calls it the focus. Essentially what it is is three positive plates, three negative plates, and neutral plates in between. I have to that added some tubing on the charge plates just to reduce the amount of leakage in between the plates. It's immersed in a solution of distilled water and potassium hydroxide. You may notice also that on the top of the bubbler, I'll just bring this in a bit. On the top of the bubbler I have pressure relief. So in the case of any catastrophic events, this will release pressure as opposed to the body of the unit itself. Same with the bubbler. Uh, pressure relief. The fittings come from the pneumatic industry. This is this is for the uh, transmission of pressurized water. Um, they're push-pull fittings, quick release, and they do provide a good a, a good seal for the hydrogen gas. I have this running at approximately 10 to 12 volts and upwards of 18 amps. I'll just plug this in and show you the production. Turn it on. So it is producing. Um, I would imagine it's around half a, a liter a minute. It's not a lot. That is hydrogen. What I'll also do is show you what I use to measure the production. So this is just a Coke bottle. And some flexible tubing, surgical tubing, I guess you call it. Turn it on again. 
sense. So you can see the water is starting to build. I'm not entirely happy with the uh, production. What I will do is start working on a uh, some changes to the generator, get the plates closer together and uh, seal the plates and I think I'll get better production out of that. So I'm not going to give an exact number right now because I'm not terribly happy with it. I do like the design though of this hydrometer. <laughs> And you can also use it to test to see how much leakage you have in the system. And as you see, I, I do have some leakage. But it's much easier to build this than a lot of the hydrometers I've seen where they have to come up and invert the bottles. This you just have to cut you just have to cut the bottom off the bottle. And put a fitting on the cap. The other thing about that is that you can remove the cap quickly, get the hydrogen out. <laughs>